one of the other things that um, is important to the book and important to integral theory is a term that was coined by author Kessler. Now, he didn't do a lot with this philosophy, but he does have to be credited with, with coming up with some of its initial insights. And the term is a holon. And a holon is a whole that is simultaneously part of another whole. And so a whole atom is part of a whole molecule. A whole molecule is part of a whole cell. A whole cell is part of a whole organism and so on. And there is virtually nothing in the universe that isn't a whole that is a part of some other whole. And so that in itself gave a kind of a pattern that connects, that gave a reality that was profoundly interwoven profoundly interconnected um, and so um, with those sort of initial insights I sat down to, to write the book and I'll read you the first page so introduction um, It is flat out strange that something, that anything, is happening at all. There was nothing, then a big bang, then here we all are. This is extremely weird. To Schelling's burning question, why is there something rather than nothing? There have always been two general answers. The first might be called the philosophy of oops. The universe just occurs, there is nothing behind it, it's all ultimately accidental or random, it just is, it just happens, oops. The philosophy of oops, no matter how sophisticated an adult it may on occasion appear, its modern names and numbers are legion, from positivism to scientific materialism, from linguistic analysis to historical materialism, from naturalism to empiricism, always comes down to the same answer, namely, don't ask. The question itself, why is there anything at all? Why am I here? The question itself is said to be confused, pathological, nonsensical, or infantile. To stop asking such silly or confused questions is they all maintain the mark of maturity, the sign of growing up in this cosmos. I don't think so. I think the answer these, quote, modern and mature disciplines give, namely, oops, and therefore don't ask, is about as infantile a response as the human condition could possibly offer. The other broad answer is that that has been tendered is that something else is going on. Behind the happenstance drama is a deeper or higher or wider pattern or order or intelligence. There are, of course, many varieties of this deeper order. The Tao, God, Geist, Matt, archetypal forms, reason, lie, Mahamaha, Maha, Mahamaha, Brahman, Rigpa. And although these different varieties of the deeper order certainly disagree with each other at many points, they all agree on this. The universe is not what it appears. Something else is going on. Something quite other than oops. This book is about all of that something other than oops. It is about a possible deeper order. It is about evolution and about religion and, in a sense, about everything in between. It is a brief history of cosmos, bios, psyche, theos, 
A tale told by an idiot, it goes without saying, but a tale that, precisely in signifying nothing, signifies the all, and there is the sound and the fury. This is a book about holons, about holes that are parts of other holes indefinitely. Whole atoms are parts of molecules, whole molecules are parts of cells, whole cells are parts of organisms, and so on. Each whole is simultaneously a part, a whole part, a whole on. And reality is composed, not of things, nor processes, nor wholes, nor parts, but of whole parts, of holons. We will be looking at holons in the cosmos, in the bios, in the psyche, in theos, and at the evolutionary thread that connects them all, unfolds them all, embraces them all endlessly. So that's a <laughs> brief uh, um, look at, at um, some of the stuff that the book covers, although it covers a lot, a lot of ground. Um, <clears throat> I've heard people say that this is one of the, believe it or not, easiest books that I've written. <clears throat> because the sentences are like that. They're all relatively easy. It's just, it goes on and on and on and on and on. So it's sort of like the Great Wall of China. You know, it's just simple bricks and you can understand each of them. But look out, it's a long walk if you want to get into it. 